now it's time to socialize with the Cheetah Brothers. What's up? How's it going? Looking at the camera, I know you want the camera, but I have to disappoint you. I can't give it to you. No. Again. All right, I still have to get them used a little bit more to the camera. So, yeah, let me continue to socialize with them a little bit without the camera. It's so incredible how it is actually often so simple if you treat somebody with respect and love they'll just treat you back with respect and love of course you need to build a certain bond to them you can't just walk up to a wild lion or cheetah or in general a wild animal and expect like if you show him love he'll show you love too that doesn't work but once you're you know communication wise on the same level and you understand one another. If you then show love, 99.9% .9 of the cases you'll receive love back. What goes around comes back around. Right? <laughs> Yo. Yo, you mustn't bite my shirt. People anyway are already complaining about my shirt which I fucked. Now you know why. Look at this. A duck. What the fuck is he doing now? There's just a duck which flew straight away into the camp. <laughs> it's okay. I got you. Today's a lucky day, brah. Don't fly into the camp of cheetahs, man. Right? Yeah, guys. Don't do that shit. Why did you do that? All right, people. So this was one lucky duck. He just flew straight away into the cheetah's camp right behind me. And they started to hunt him, to chase him. So yeah, it was an unfair game because they were two, he was one. It was in their camp, which is not super big. So yeah, you were lucky I was there. Otherwise, I don't know if you would still live, right? Don't do that again. Don't just walk into a or, or fly into a cheetah's camp. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's give him his freedom back. Yeah, you could at least say thank you. Bye. So I did a mistake, uh, the duck which I basically just rescued, I put him back into the wild, but actually it's one of our ducks over here. Now he is right over there, because his friends are calling him, but he's outside of the fence. I don't know if you guys can see him. Look there. He's right over there. All right, I'm here, and I just hope He's not gonna run away from me. Let me put the camera down quickly. I got you. Nobody's gonna kill you. I'm gonna bring you back to your family now. We are cool. Just chill, bro. We'll be back. Or right, you know what? I can actually throw him over the fence here because he can fly, almost. All right, good. Go. And. 
<laughs> Did you see that? And he's back with his family. Cool. Hello, Yuka. Hi. What are you doing? Where are you going? And a lion food. Lion food? Yes. What do you have? Uh, it's in the car. Is it in the car? Yes. And what is it? What kind of animal is it? It's zebra. Uh, 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 I don't know. A zebra and a wildebeest. Yes. Yes. A, a lion. And not me. No, no, not you. No. Uh, it's a lion's Yeah, it's for lions, yes. yeah. Let's go and feed the lions, okay? Yes. Let's go. And here we are. The lions just got a zebra all for themselves. Check this out. They actually opened already up the belly part, which is the softest part. And um, yeah, obviously now they're kind of competing over the best parts because it is not fully open. Not everybody can eat yet. So until not everybody has a spot to eat from, they will have those little competition fights with one another. What is up, my boy? Aren't you hungry? Hmm? So Dexter is very gentleman-like today because the lions are all feeding of the zebra there while Dexter is just in a super playful mood but doesn't feel like eating. Yeah, my boy. So the situation is this. We got the guts coming out at the moment. Now most of you guys most probably don't know that the guts, the intestines, they have the most vitamins of the entire animal. So everybody will try to get his best part of the guts, maybe some of the liver, some of the stomach or something like that. All right, now we got some action going on back there. Let's go and have a look what's happening. I've been in the world. So here we are today, um, Stevie is going to help me to set up the new home of Lulu and hopefully we'll be able to move her over later this, this afternoon once we are done with it and I just wanted to show you guys quickly um, how it looks so far. Let's have a look at it. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Uh, now the plan will be to clean the windows rinse out the entire place here, make it nice and clean, fill it up with soil, fill it up with some of that bark. Uh, then we're gonna go out, cut some trees to be able to put them all across so she can climb all around top of it. It has a huge pool, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like a pool at home, right? <laughs> we're gonna go out now, try to get some fitting trees which we can fit into this terrarium so that Lulu can really climb up the branches and everything and just enjoy her life. And yeah, of course, we're taking you guys with. Oh, gave me the wrong key. Who did? Euclid. So you have to drive back. Oh, actually. Just, we actually were looking for the perfect tree for Lulu and this one looks pretty dead already so we don't have to kill a tree and yeah let's just take it off and then cut off the smallest branches and see what we get. If the whole cutting part is as hard as making it on, then I don't know, I don't have to work out today anymore. Oh, that was a mission. How do we get this into the car? Let me see how heavy it is. Do you think I can make it alone? No. It's like Tetris in the wall. <laughs> Alright, 
All right, so how to prepare moss for a terrarium? Step one, add water. And then step number two, add all the moss into that water. And step number three is spreading that moss, which is full of water now, all over the um, terrarium, in every corner, on the tree, on the platforms and everywhere, so that it can keep producing the moist in the air. All right, so we are pretty much done. Check this out. Oh, we've got the first tree in. We've got the moss here. We've got the pool filled up right over there, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, I would say this is the first level of it, which means uh, we're definitely gonna add another tree, maybe two trees, a little bit more moss, and a little bit more bark. But for now, it is ready to move in to the new home. So let's go and grab Lulu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see what's next then make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel right now and if you want to see more content you're so welcome to follow my other socials as well thank you so much for watching and see you guys later